Hey everybody, uh, I was asked to show a simple way to have a series parallel switch. Well, <clears throat> here's what I have come up with. It's a double pull, double throw switch. That's very important. Um, preferably an on, off, on configuration, but it's not absolutely necessary. I would just for added safety. But here is basically your, your wiring layout for your switch. Jumper all across the top two terminals. Uh, battery A negative, left center. Battery B positive, right center. B negative, left lower terminal. A positive, bottom right terminal. Now that's for a two battery setup, A and B and you use the bottom two terminals for your output. You've got your output negative on the left and output positive on the right, on the bottom. So you can see here how it's kind of configured. So let's get into seeing it work. Here I've thrown together a, a simple, simple layout I didn't have a double pole, double throw switch, so I have two individual switches set up in this configuration. Just bear with me, and this is the center pin, and this is the center pin. Just uh, use your imagination and work with me. That's with the switch down, and that's with the switch up. So right now it's down, so we're running in the parallel configuration. Here is your coil. I know it's labeled lamp, but just bear with me that's your coil and right now we've got 3.7 volts across it because we're in, in parallel configuration the switch is down here's our two switch bars here let's switch them up now it's in the series configuration uh, this piece of wire right here is not actually part of the switch I just didn't have anywhere else to run it so I had to run it across this switch here so let's start at the negative on your coil. Comes across, then to the bottom left pin, which is your negative on the output side of your switch. Goes to battery B, negative. Then the positive on battery B goes to the center pin on the right. Now since the switch is in the up position to parallel, it's running through that jumper wire on the top. So it's running through the jumper wire on the top, down back to the center pin of the switch through this other side, from top terminal to the center terminal, down to the negative on battery A, then back up through the bottom right pin on the switch, which is your positive output, back to the positive side of your coil. So there's 7.35 volts roughly. Like I said, none of this is exactly perfect, but it's it's close. Let's see. Yeah. So, there's your series configuration with the switch in the up position. Let's go back to parallel. Now, as you can see with the switch down, it's in the parallel position. Your center pin, which is negative on battery A, is connected to the bottom pin which is negative on battery B which is also your negative output channel positive for battery A is run to the bottom right hand pin which is also your output battery B the positive is run to the center pin so now with it switched in the down position it connects to the bottom right hand pin so both of the positives are now jumpered to the same pin and both of the negatives are now jumpered to the same pin on the switch giving you your 3.7 volt output so there it is in action series parallel speed up the current a little bit
So hopefully I helped. Hopefully I answered some questions. Uh, if not, hit me up. Uh, well, I, I'll answer any questions I can. Um, if you want to screenshot these, be my guest. I will also provide a download link at your request. I'll post it in the comments or whatever. It's saved in my Dropbox. So just let me know. I'll get you a link to these pictures, either one or both. And uh, I guess that just about sums it up. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good day and vape on.